Bowie cash crisis worse about Venezuela once again. Systemic important banks. They removed the one back in Georgia. They weren't in all monetary. It's the next recession. Recession. Recession will be. Will be a recession. We're going to hit a recession. The date of the next recession. A U.S. only recession typically lasts eight to ten months, but a lot of things about this particular one have not been typical. So. A crash is coming now, whether it's six months from now, 12 months, 36 months, no one knows. Uh, I go to bed every night, I dream of another recession. If you know what to do, um, if, if you have the right plan to set up, uh, you, can, you can make a lot of money from this. Hey there, hope all is well. Back at you today with some more RT News updates. And as you can tell from today's title, we're going to be talking about those two words that economists as well as a lot of authors love to mention. And it has to do with the words monetary reset. And in this news update, I want to share a lot of articles with you based upon the past cooperation between these two gentlemen here and their countries over the last decade plus that has allowed me to form the opinion that the monetary reset or as you see above my head, the restructuring has already happened and now it's just a matter of what's next. And so during this video here, I'm gonna share with you my thoughts as to why I believe that the restructuring has already occurred and it has to do with the fact that both of these countries are accumulating massive amounts of precious metals for some particular reason and I'm sure you know what that reason is. But before I dive into those articles, as always, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button as well as the notification tab for more RT news updates as well as interviews. And if you're new to RTD, I want to encourage you to visit the RTD University page where I put together all my prior interviews dealing with monetary matters, this monetary restructuring, as well as the importance of you yourself becoming your own central bank by holding precious metals, as the new ebook says, before the next recession occurs. So without further ado, let's dive into today's articles. So today I have a lot of articles that I won't actually read directly, but I'll just skim through some of the titles to give you an understanding of what actually is going on here in this whole video segment here with the idea of a monetary restructuring. So I took the viewpoint of what is coming in the days ahead and how this new shift or restructuring will play out. And it has a lot to do with the two presidents over my shoulder leading the way with the accumulation of a massive amount of precious metals throughout the last couple of years. And so in my opinion, I believe that the restructuring has already occurred just because as I'm sure you're aware, it's always a country that holds the most gold at the end of the day that becomes a global powerhouse. And if you rewind back throughout history, you'll see how the United States of America became such a global powerhouse right after World War I when all the gold from Europe and everywhere else came flooding into our country because we were not involved in the war directly. And so we were able to accumulate a massive amount of gold and reportedly 8,000 tons, which is supposed to be in Fort Knox as we speak, if you believe that. But other than that, History has shown that whoever possesses the most gold is the one who calls the shots. And so to better explain how I actually came up with the idea of the monetary restructuring as opposed to the monetary reset, I just actually looked at the definitions of both and came to the conclusion that the restructuring definition suits the timing that we're in as I believe the Russia and Chinese economy will eventually adapt to the whole blockchain cryptocurrency phase as well and attach that to precious metals. And so I thought it was more suiting to use the word restructure as opposed to reset. But before I dive into that, let me give you the actual definitions. So here, if you type in the word reset, it just says to set again or differently. And then if you look at the word restructuring, it says a reorganization of a company, I put the word country in there, a reorganization of a country or monetary system with a view to achieving greater efficiency and profit or to adapt to a changing market. And so when I read that definition there of adapt to a changing market, here we are in the 21st century and technology is really taking over in regards to this whole blockchain cryptocurrency world that we're living in. And it's just a matter of time before the crypto ruble and the Chinese yuan coin or whatever it might be is officially rolled out. And also to factor in that starting on March 26th, we're going to have the yuan backed by gold. And I'm sure they're going to have some digital spinoff of that as well. That we are entering a new world order that's going to be led by these two countries here. And it's already occurred because as you can see over my shoulder, this graph here, here gives you an idea as to how much gold has been accumulated over the last almost two decades ever since the dot-com bubble set this wheel in motion so just to go through a couple articles briefly I want to paint a picture as to why this is so important and why there's a light switch right here over my shoulder so in better understanding the whole Russia and China relationship it's always good to just Google 
why is China and Russia buying so much gold? And if you do that, you'll come up with countless articles from all over the world with different people sharing their opinions as to why that is. And so outside of pure speculation and the idea that the United States dollar or the Federal Reserve note is no longer a reliable and dependable store of value as well as international medium of exchange, it's no question as to why this gold is being stored. Before I get into more articles, I want to show you this graph here, which gives you a little bit more of what I'm referring to when I talk about the graph of my shoulder. And so here it shows that since the year 2000, both Russia and China have been accumulating massive amounts of gold. And it has started with some type of recession that has led to some hiccup in the economy, which triggers their increase in purchasing of metals. So here we have 2000 when it was first introduced as something of importance. Then we have the whole 08, 09. And here we are today, and this is as of 2015, it's even higher. And so no one truly knows that what they're actually holding on to, but those countries themselves, I'm sure. But it's all been done for a reason. Basically to say that the Federal Reserve note will one day no longer be the reserve currency of our monetary system. And when that day happens, I believe that these two countries will be the ones that initiate, and as the definition of restructuring says, changing the market by introducing gold and silver back into its rightful place as a monetary unit of exchange. So right now I'm about to thumb through all these articles and just give you an idea as to the collaboration between these two countries and how it's growing stronger and stronger as it looks like every month there's some type of article in the news dealing with the stronger ties between China and Russia. And it all has to do with the idea that we are continually passing sanctions on Russia as well as China and the United States of America is causing a lot of problems for these nations. So it's no doubt in my mind why they're becoming such great allies in this particular time. So let me thumb through some of these articles for you. First one here, Russia-China strike deal to jointly explore outer space. And this is as of this month. Next one here, the impact of Gazprom China-Russia gas pipeline. Russia and China to work on joint uranium mining project. Russia and China could soon become more powerful than the U.S. and Valentine's Day is to blame. Russia and China signed cooperation pacts. Russia and China signed historic 400 billion gas deal. Russia and China signed agreement on Belkmore Railroad. China and Russia 38 deals and one was worth 24 billion. Russia and China signed mutual no hacking pledge. China's BRIC Plus partnership could transform global trade. BRIC's new development bank to pay special attention to Africa. So those are articles I want to share with you just to read the title to shine light on the idea that Russia and China has been working together consistently over the past decade plus and it's no coincidence as to why they're doing it. They have already stated very clearly that they are looking to de-dollarize their economies to shift their attention as well as their dependency upon the dollar out of their system so that they can begin trading amongst themselves with their own currencies. And so you have the invention of the BRICS, the AIIB, which are all designed to basically begin facilitating, as it says here, global trade away from the dollar. And so if there's no dollar being used, I mean, what will they use? They'll use their own currencies. And if history is any good at teaching us how that usually works, they usually peg it to something or attach it to something of value. And that plays into the whole idea of them accumulating so much gold. But to better explain why there's a light switch over my shoulder, in times past, during my RTD Live Talks, I mentioned how at any minute, it's just a matter of time before these two countries turn the light switch on and basically reintroduce gold as money back into our monetary system since 1971, when President Nixon made this statement here. The strength of a nation's currency is based on the strength of that nation's economy. And the American economy is by far the strongest. Accordingly, I have directed the Secretary of the Treasury to take the action necessary to defend the dollar against the speculators. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets, except in amounts and conditions determined to be in the interest of monetary stability and in the best interest of the United States. Now, what is this action, which is very technical, what does it mean for you? Let me lay to, rest, lay to rest the bugaboo of what is called devaluation. If you want to buy a foreign car or take a trip abroad, market conditions may cause your dollar to buy slightly less. But if you are among the overwhelming majority of Americans, who buy American-made products in America, your dollar will be worth just as much tomorrow as it is today. 
That statement alone was the reason why gold was removed from the public psyche altogether and was no longer considered in our monetary realm because President Nixon closed the gold window, removing the dollar from gold, and at that point, creating this current mess we're in where we're running deficits and debt is through the roof and all the problems this world faces at this current point. And so I believe that in the very near future, this restructuring will be finalized when these two presidents and these countries turn on the light switch by introducing gold back into the monetary system where it'll be obvious and there will be no way to, to deny the importance of gold in your possession as a monetary metal, as well as a store value, as well as a hedge against the depreciating currencies that governments and central banks issue to the public. And so this video here was to basically shine some light on the idea that once this light switch does come on, gold, silver, and every precious metal will be at a price that makes the current figures look very small in comparison to what they should be when you measure against all this fiat currency that's been spread around this planet from every country. And at that point is when all hell will break loose in the monetary realm because people will turn their backs on fiat currencies and the world may never be the same again. So I hope you enjoyed this quick news update and let me know your thoughts, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this matter here and more importantly, share this information with your family and friends so they can get a little bit of a history lesson as well as understand the importance of how China and Russia have already set everything in place it's just a matter of them cutting on that light switch to where they'll be reintroducing gold back into the monetary realm. And with that, we'll follow a new pricing mechanism that will change our monetary system completely. So other than that, hope all is well. Enjoy your day.